is I don't like the way that the Tacoma drains now. And that's not a good thing. You know, Toyota's had a lot of problems with frame issues, frame rust issues. So we're going to go ahead and put the clamp over the end of the tube here. You know, if you follow Toyota at all, then you know they've had massive problems. Lots of recalls and spent lots of money replacing frames on their truck. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I'm going to do a simple little Tacoma mod. Um, they couldn't end up saving you a big hassle in the long run. What I'm doing is a, uh, a little drain line, a little air conditioning drain line mod. because I don't like the way that the Tacoma drains now. Let me take you under here and show you. Oops, just hit my back on the lift. Uh, you guys can see, hopefully, uh, let me figure out where I'm at, right here. Right there, that is the drain line for the air conditioning, you know, the condensation, and the water drips right here, on top of the frame, on this side, and then down through here where the uh, little panel is inside the fender. Um, and that's not a good thing. You know, Toyota's had a lot of problems with frame issues, frame rust issues. So why they allow this to happen, I really have no idea. So what I'm going to do, we'll back out of here. What I'm going to do is, in essence, extend that line. I have some tubing here, and this is just... Let's see, three quarter inch OD by five eighths inch ID. And it fits perfectly over that little nozzle that I showed you under there. And then a little uh, clamp. And this I believe is a seven sixteenths to one and a quarter. I uh, believe, let's see here. Uh, it is an 11-25. Doesn't say much else on it. Anyway, this is gonna be used, this clamp to clamp down the end of this tubing on that little piece of tube that comes out of the uh, air conditioning unit up there. And again, the whole point of this is, is to get water away from the frame. Now, I do have one little selfish reason for doing this, and that's because it actually is in such a position that it drips on the edge of my lift and goes down on the inside of these trays here and actually drips on the roof of my Jeep out there when it's underneath the lift. So that will alleviate that too. So I'm going to go ahead, set you guys up. I'll show you a little bit of that. Uh, it's tight quarters under there, so I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see. But uh, we're going to tie it up and then uh, show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, hopefully you guys can see up there okay. Um, I've got the tubing run down, and I'll show you where I ran that down here in just a minute. But... You can see the edge, or the, the tubing rather, right here, I believe, yeah, right there. I think my camera actually turned. Let me see if I can line you guys up a little better. Yeah, sorry we're not in the middle of the frame, but that's about the best I can do. So, we're going to go ahead and put the clamp over the end of the tube here. And I might actually tighten that down a little bit uh, just to get it ready. There, I think that's a pretty good shot. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten the clamp down just a little because it's tight quarters up there, of course. Just so that I will have an easier time of it, I guess, once I have it on up there. Tighten that down just a little more. Okay, let's see. There, I'll just kind of slip it up on there. And I'm going to slip it up pretty far, uh, like so. So now all I have to do is tighten this screw down here. Uh, and I should be able to reach through actually right where the camera is. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that screw down. And, uh, and we should be good. And then we'll tie up the uh, tubing itself here so that it's not flopping around. And I'll show you where I ran it through down here below. 
as soon as I get this tightened up up there. Okay, we've got it done. Tight spaces to work, but actually it's not too bad underneath here. Unfortunately, I have a lift, so it's even easier for me, I know. Um, let me show you what I've done here. You guys can see the hose right here hanging out of the bottom. And it goes up there once again. It is held on with a clamp right up there. And then I zip tied it. And I'm all about overkill right here. So I did put three zip ties on it. Obviously, you probably don't need that many. But hey, they come in a great big bag like that. So why not? Um, ran it down here. Again, trying to stay away from the exhaust, obviously, up here. Because I don't want my hose to melt. So we have good clearance there. Uh, trying to stay away from everything down here that could get hot, of course. And then the wiring over here. Um... And I did zip tie it. I don't know if this is necessary, but I did zip tie it kind of around this frame piece here. Um, I don't know how long the zip tie will even last. With weather, it probably will break anyway. But uh, by then, this tubing will be uh, formed enough. You know, it kind of has memory. Um, so that it'll stay in place anyway. And this is never going to pop up out of here anyhow. So this is my solution. This will get the water off of the frame up there run it down through the tubing and it'll drip down here below. It will also fall into my pan that will be right down here um, so that it doesn't drip on top of my Jeep. And it's up high enough, pretty much even with the skid plate, that it shouldn't catch on anything, and nor do I think it would. I mean, this will move if it had to. So it's, it's not gonna catch on anything or you know anything crazy like that. So pretty awesome mod, I think. Just something, uh, Again, pretty simple to kind of alleviate or stop the water from dripping all over your frame. You know, if you follow Toyota at all, then you know they've had massive problems. Lots of recalls and spent lots of money replacing frames on their trucks. Both the Tundra and the Tacoma because of rust issues. So I really don't understand why they continue to... Uh, leave this thing drip all over the frame. It just seems to me like a simple fix, just running a piece of tube down there like I've done over here, and then uh, you don't have that issue anymore. So anyway, just kind of want to get on here, show you guys something pretty simple to maybe uh, prevent something uh, as far as rust or Toyota frame rust, specifically Tacoma frame rust, in the future. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I had posted a video about this before. Let me know if you've done it the last time. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out my other channel. It is Rob Motion, all about the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss new videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.